funny story. When I was a little girl, I actually wanted to be a housewife. I went through different phases. At first, I wanted to be a housewife. Then I wanted to be a CEO. I wanted to be a psychologist. Then I wanted to be a singer, then an actress. And well, after all those iterations, I finally ended up with industrial engineering. So by the time I graduated the ninth grade, I knew I wanted to do something that was related to math and science. And hence, I ended up at CROEM. And after being in CROEM, or I better said, during those CROEM years, uh, our counselor, Magali, thanks if you're watching this, she organized with another professor a tour to the industrial engineering department at the UPRM and there they showed us all the different ramifications that industrial engineer engineers can actually participate in you know that constitutes engineering because once I was in CROEM there was a tendency to lean towards engineering and engineering always sounds like a fancy word and everyone wants to kind of be an engineer when they're at CROEM or the majority of those who were at CROEM by that, by that time. And when we went to those orientations, I decided and I knew there and then that industrial engineering was the thing for me. So what do I mean or what is industrial engineering for me? Well, the beauty of industrial engineering is that you, when you finish your degree, you can actually work in anything and everything. And that was a key element when I made my decision because I knew I wanted to be a scientist slash mathematician, but I wanted to have a relationship with humans. I did not want it to be you know, stuck in the lab and only dealing with machines. I'm not saying there's a problem with that. It's that if that's what you're into, that's great. But for me, it was getting to have contact and interaction with humans. And industrial engineering provides for that. And even if you don't want to have interaction with humans, you can also still be an industrial engineer. But you would be a better industrial engineer, in my opinion, if you do have uh, people skills. So, industrial engineering for me. You know, there are systems, right? And some of some people consider industrial engineers as system engineers. But what I'm getting at is everything in this world is a system. There are different components that play in that system. And as an industrial engineer, you're looking at each and every one of those components and you're trying to improve the system. And believe me, there's always room for improvement. Even if you think you have the most efficient system, there's always something you can tweak or change that would up up the effect effectiveness of that system or produce more output or whatever is your measure of productivity. That being said, I think industrial engineering is a beautiful profession and it really depends on what you want to do. If you want to be more lenient to the statistical side of it where you could take a lot of data and big data is like a huge thing now but you can take all that data and analyze it and based on statistical tests like p-values etc you can determine with enough and with enough certainty what change in the variables would affect that system. Also, you could do quality measurement or quality improvement. There's Link Six Sigma. You could end up working almost anywhere, anywhere and everywhere in the world. You could be at Homeland Security. You could be working towards humanitarian logistics. You can also help in a nonprofit because uh, just like in companies, in manufacturers specifically, they want to improve their productions. But as a nonprofit, you might want to improve your impact of your organization. And as long as there's a system, there's space for an industrial engineer.
I invite you to look for further information about industrial engineering. If you want to know anything else about industrial engineering, leave me your comments in the questions. Uh, your <laughs> leave me your questions in the comments. Um, and if there's anything that I might not be able to answer, we may look for the answers together. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Missed the previous video? Click on that clip right there. If you want to get more videos, click on that subscribe button. Bye!